What's going on filmmakers? I'm Alexander Don and today I'm going to tell you a story about how I shot for Formula One. <laughs> I'm going to start with the beginning. As you probably are, I'm a big fan of the Netflix show Drive to Survive and this show kind of got me hooked onto being an F1 fan. And just to show you how universe works, I was watching the new season of Drive to Survive and I was like, I really wish I could see one of the races live. That would be so cool. And soon after, I got an email notification with a project proposal to go film at Monaco F1. How crazy is this? Like the universe worked in my favor. It was a project for PokerStar, which is a sponsor at F1. And they had a giveaway contest on their platform where if you play poker, you can win an F1 experience at Monaco on a yacht. And what I had to do is film the winner's experience and do an after movie and also a bunch of photographies. When I heard this, I was like, hell yeah, let's do it. When do I get a chance to watch F1 live in Monaco on a yacht? So I immediately accepted the proposal, gave them a really good offer and they were happy with it. So we began doing briefing and all that. So fast forward a few days before the trip, I get the final brief and the brief was a little bit weird. We were not allowed to film or photograph the track, the cars, people's faces and alcohol. And to be honest, I started to panic a little bit because how you showcase the F1 event if you don't capture the vibe with all those things that I just mentioned above. But to be honest, it was quite an interesting challenge because I had to think about a way to film everything and still look cool and still give the F1 experience vibe. So fast forward another days later, um, I get my password, I pack my backpack, I get on my car and zoom straight away to the airport where I flew to Nice. In Nice, I stayed at a really cool hotel where you could see all the planes landing and taking off. It was quite a unique experience to look at the airport track and just enjoy the vibe and also take some shots with my 70-200 from Sony. So we arrived on Wednesday night and this means we had four days of F1 experience including the practice and the best time lap which was super important for this race. First day of practice started like this. We went back to the airport which was really close to us. We waited like an hour for a helicopter because we are in Monaco and people here don't take taxis, they take helicopters instead. We went on a helicopter ride to Monaco, which was absolutely amazing. The sightseeing was mind blowing. And to be honest, when do you get to go to Monaco, fly with a helicopter and see everything? It was really awesome for me. In Monaco, we went to the boat dock to take a boat that took us to the yacht, which was another amazing experience because we got to see Monaco from the boat and from the helicopter as well. So first day, even before watching F1, was really, really super epic. And while we were approaching the yacht, you could hear the sound of the car, which was so good that I had ghost bumps immediately. I honestly felt like I was living a dream or something. It was really amazing. I don't have words to describe it, but I was feeling really happy that day. So we arrived on a yacht and oh my God, it was my first time ever on a yacht my first time ever in Monaco and my first time ever at F1. So you can see my happiness and happiness and everything that was going on. To be honest, um, I was, it was one of the times where I felt really grateful for my job, for everything that I do and uh, everything that I have accomplished so far. So I was on the yacht and first thing that I do, I immediately go and watch the cars coming by and by that time it was an F1-2 practice which was amazing and the cars were sounding so so hard it was like super loud way louder than F1 cars so you really needed earplugs because otherwise you could lose your hearing that loud it was so I took out my camera and guess what I did in the first place I started shooting cars I was so excited I completely forgot we were not allowed to film cars or the track but I did it anyway because 
why not? You you are in Monaco, first time. There was nobody having trouble with us filming the cars or anything like that. It was just for the brand. We couldn't show cars into the brand edit. So um, I did it for myself and I found another way to showcase the track, which I'm gonna show you in a bit. So after a more detailed talk with the client, we agreed on a few people that we were allowed to film and photograph. And then I started working on shooting and trying to capture the vibe, which was honestly quite hard when you're that limited. But I think I managed to make a pretty cool video, which I'm gonna show you in just a, a little bit to, to see exactly. So now that you know my limitation, you're gonna see the video and you're gonna see exactly what I did. But just be patient, just a little bit. The next days were pretty similar. The only thing that changed was the yacht and also the waves. The waves were way bigger from the boat dock until the yacht. So it was quite an interesting experience. I liked it a lot, but people on the yacht were, uh, people on the boat were really scared. So um, yeah, the yacht was different. We had to change it for a bigger one. So that was even better. So because everything was quite repetitive, I was able to finish my work pretty fast and I had a lot of time to enjoy myself as well and watch the race and also try to capture some epic shots for me as well. So I took my camera and uh, I was quite pumped and tried to capture the Formula cars in motion with slow shutter. So uh, I was something around like this guy. It was really funny. I was like, boom, boom, trying to move the camera really fast because the cars are going super fast. So I shot mostly with my 24 to 70 f2.8 on the a7s3 and apparently for a 12 megapixel camera it does some really impressive photos. I shot with the 70 to 200 millimeter as well but it was a little bit harder and to capture the cars at 200 millimeter when they go past with 290 kilometers per hour is almost close to impossible. You have to be like a super ninja or anything like that. But at some point, if you watch the, the race, it started raining and it rained so hard that it was raining inside the yacht, it was raining on the yacht and uh, I kind of had to <laughs> uh, get cover and stop shooting photos. But I said, no, this is an epic moment. I have to take more shots. So I did a lot of shots in the rain. I uh, It was a little bit tricky, but I did some really cool shots and I think they worked it. Okay, and now let me show you the edit I did for the brand and then I'm going to tell you how I met Verstappen face to face. Okay, so I hope you liked the video. Uh, leave me down some comments on what you think about it. Um, but yeah, with all those limitations, I tried to do my best. So after the race, we managed to get off the yacht and go near the VIP area where there are a lot of possibilities to see the drivers. And oh boy, oh boy, we saw a lot of the drivers. First, I saw the trophy casually coming through, through the crowd, which uh, was Quite impressive to see the trophy this close. Then I saw Sebastian Vettel and then the big G Lewis Hamilton, which had a lot of security around him compared to the other guys. And then 
Max Verstappen, which seemed like he made eye contact with my camera. But then we saw the winner as well, Sergio Perez, and uh, I got some shots with him as well. And yeah, I forgot to tell you, last night we also went to a Red Bull party, which was super epic, and I met one of the best bike riders in the world, Fabio Wibmer. And it was really cool because we got to talk a little bit about bike riding and injuries and all that. And if you don't know, I'm also a bike rider. I do a lot of tricks on my bike and uh, this is how I got into filmmaking. I'm gonna do a separate video about that, but I have some bike riding skill as well. So we got to talk a little bit and he seemed quite impressed with my riding skills as well. So we got to be friends now on Instagram and all that. So that was really, really cool. Anyway guys, this trip was one of the best filmmaking experience I ever had and I'm super grateful on what filmmaking has brought me so far. I feel like I have one of the best jobs in the world, I get to experience one of the craziest things in the world as well while still getting paid. And how cool is this? Um, thanks a lot for watching this and uh, make sure to give your G a follow and if you want to learn some filmmaking tips and filmmaking lighting techniques and all that. I have a lot of videos where you can learn all these things. So make sure again to subscribe to your G and watch some epic videos as well. So until next time, I wish you guys the best and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I'm really happy. And until next time, I want you guys to be creative. Peace.